Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be taking the Homes is Where the Heart is tagged. So this was created by Book Time with Elvis. I was tagged by Al from Big Heart Books and Classics. There are a bunch of questions. Uh, I'm going to go through and answer them. I'll tag some people at the end based on, um, I guess, who's recently commented on my videos. And uh, yeah, all the info is in the book description. Let's go. Dane reads. So, question one. Elementary, my dear Watson, share a classic mystery novel that you consider a must read. Uh, and then there were none by Agatha Christie, uh, one of her best. Um, my partner and I actually went to go and see a uh, theatre production of it not long ago as well, which was excellent. But overall, it's just, it's a classic murder mystery for a reason. Question number two, Baker Street Irregulars, recommend a book with a group of unlikely heroes or a diverse ensemble cast. A group of unlikely heroes. I mean, I guess... Uh, the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Fellowship of the Ring. I mean, the, the Fellowship in, in particular, sure, like Gandalf, Aragorn, maybe Boromir are likely heroes. Gimli and Legolas, eh, maybe heroes. And then the Four Hobbits, very unlikely heroes. All right, question number three, the game is a fun. Name a book that had a plot twist or revelation that completely surprised you. Probably the ending of The Amber Spyglass by uh, Philip Pullman, the third book in his Dark Materials trilogy. That broke me as a, as a young kid when I was first getting into reading. Um, but yes, very much recommended. It was just very sad. One of the only times I've ever cried reading a book. Question number four, 221B Baker Street. Talk about the time you visited somewhere of literary significance. I guess when I was in Paris, um, I, I, for example, I, I went to the grave of Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir. Uh, I saw loads of people's graves there. Uh, Jim Morrison, uh, Baudelaire. Uh, Guy de Maupassant and actually more recently uh, here in the UK I was going to Parkrun in Oxford and I was running early and I happened to see that a graveyard, a church graveyard was open so I was like I'll just go for a walk around that graveyard accidentally found J.R.R. Tolkien's grave so mm, lots of graveyards Question number five, Moriarty's master plan discuss a book where the antagonist was exceptionally cunning and memorable I guess the stand um, maybe not necessarily cunning, but certainly a memorable antagonist in that. We're basically talking the, the most evil of evils, you know? But in human form at some points as well. Question number six, The Art of Deduction. Mention either a book that kept you guessing all the way to the end, or one where you guessed the outcome earlier on. Um, well, I don't really guess when I read books, so this is actually quite a hard one for me. I don't know if, if there really is one, other than, you know, any novel that follows, you know, um, the hero's journey, you can kind of guess how it's going to turn out. There's going to be a big confrontation and then a resolution. So there, there's that, I suppose. Um, or like, I mean, this is a horrible thought. I'm so sorry. Uh, Anne Frank's Diary. I kind of knew how that was going to end. Question number seven, The Hound of the Baskervilles. Talk about a book with a strong atmospheric setting or one where the setting plays a significant role in the story. Hmm, okay. I'm immediately thinking like frozen wastelands for some reason. I tell you what, actually I'm going to go with Alien by Alan Dean Foster. So this is the noveliz novelization of the movie and he really captured how claustrophobic it was to be on board that spaceship, especially with an alien knocking around. Question number eight, The Reichenbach Falls. Talk about a series that you thought had ended but made a surprise comeback. The Sherlock Holmes series? I don't know. What? Oh, I guess, again, Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials uh, trilogy because he then kind of came back with prequels and stuff. Um, but I don't think he should have. I think he should have left it where it was. Question number nine, Sherlockian adaptations. Discuss your favorite book to screen adaptation or a retelling of a classic story. I mean, The Martian by Andy Weir was a very good adaptation. Um, as far as retellings go, the thing that pops into my head is 10 Things I Hate About You, which is um, a retelling of The Taming of the Shrew. So m maybe that. And question number 10, The Great Detective recommend a book with a brilliant and memorable protagonist. I'm going to have to go back to the His Dark Materials series again for Lyra Balacqua uh, and later on her kind of co-star uh, Will, whose surname has eluded me for, for now. Um, his dad, I know his dad's fake name, but I can't remember his dad's actual name. But anyway, um, yeah, very, very memorable protagonist. So there we have it. Those are my responses. I'm going to go and tag five YouTube channels. So I'm going to tag, I'm going to tag one book, one review, Charles Heathcote, The Honest Book Reviewer, Cliff Stark Gems, and J.D. Estrada. 
So there we have it. That's what I made of the homes as well. The hardest tag. As always, don't forget to let me know what you thought of this uh, video by letting me know in the comments. You can hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.